This tech tip continues a series for the Discovery Mass Spectrometer. We will create a simple peak jump recipe for the analysis of water evolved from calcium oxalate monohydrate and use it as a measure of the performance of the detector. We can create a simple peak jump method for analyzing calcium oxalate. We will use this as a means of measuring the response of our detector. We will stop the easy view mode by clicking here and start the create edit recipe mode by clicking this button. You can edit an existing recipe or you can create a new one by entering a name in this window. Let's make a new one and call it syscheck pj. Just be sure that the radio button next to the create a peak jump recipe is selected. Click OK. The dialog box opens that requires some basic data. The first thing we'll enter is the mass of interest, and in this case, that mass is mass 18, water. For our detector, choose malt 1. We choose skip on saturation. Accuracy of 7 is fine. We will uncheck the high electron energy setting, which is 70 electron volts. The value of the lower setting is 40 electron volts. We will add another mass of interest, which is mass 44, carbon dioxide. We will use MOLT1, again skip on saturation, and an accuracy of 7 is OK. Notice that our cycle time is just over one second, so we should get a large number of scans and our data should be very good. Hit OK. If the file already exists, this dialog box will ask you if you want to overwrite the data. Hit OK. We will now start the automatic sequence. Simply click the top button here. Under the recipe name drop-down, typically you will find the last recipe you edited at the bottom of the list, so we'll select syscheck pj. We'll save the file as caox test. We do need to be sure that the export as text option is enabled so that a text file of our data is created. We will need this file to open with our Trias software, and a text file is the format that Trias reads. Of course, the filament is enabled. Our status button allows us to add more experiments to our automatic sequence, but we will just use this one today. We will now click on Begin Automatic Sequence. You'll see a dialog open with the last message that reads, Waiting for Trigger. The trigger is an electronic pulse sent by the TGA and controlled by the TRIO software. It is part of the analysis program of the TGA and will initiate a data collection on the Discovery Mass Spectrometer. After my TGA run, I open my data file using the TRIO software, and I have what appears to be a normal TGA run for calcium oxalate. It has the three weight loss events that I am expecting, water, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. I'm going to bring in the mass spec data now and see that I have the two ion currents that I chose in my peak jump method, water in blue and carbon dioxide in red. I'm really only interested in the water peak for this analysis so that I can open the water peak in a new graph and look at it by itself. What I'm going to do is measure the peak height. I can just left mouse click and drag from the top of the peak to the baseline, right mouse click and choose signal change. Choose accept limits and I get a peak height of about 5.62 milliamps. I want to normalize this value to the starting mass of the sample. The original sample mass was 8.23 milligrams, which I could obtain from the TGA data file. If I open the handy calculator, which is part of my Windows program, I can divide 5.62 by 8.23 and get a value of about 0.683 milliamps per milligram. I can use this value as a benchmark on how well the instrument is performing, specifically the detector response. Ideally, I'd like to record and track this value over time on a regular basis, possibly in a notebook or a spreadsheet. Maybe I'd perform this analysis once a week or so and verify that I'm getting this number, roughly 0.7 or so. This will be unique for your instrument. You may get a little less or a little more, depending. The time to check would be after installation or maybe after a service call. If the value is decreasing significantly, say by half or an order of magnitude, it's probably time for service to the instrument. Maybe I need to clean the TGA, do a system bake out of the discovery mass spec, check the filament condition by simply switching to the spare filament and repeating the test. 
This is really a very good and simple way to check your detector response so that you can be confident in the data that you're obtaining. This tech tip shows how calcium oxalate can be used as a way to check on your detector's performance. Please stay tuned for more TA tech tips.